Another principle you talk is about making it effortless. And um, we talked earlier about Amazon, but listen, Amazon is such a great example. You can write, you know, and there have been books written about Amazon and how they are with customers. I mean, you know, they, they, they are at that gold standard, but you write about Amazon's one click. Um, and I think we're all familiar with that, but give us your thoughts on why, you know, you know, since introducing that one click, they really, they, 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 they really did hit a nerve with customers that, that yeah. improved their service. Yeah. So, uh, you know, back in the early days of Amazon, uh, one thing that Jeff Bezos and his team saw was a lot of cart abandonment, hmm. um, which means, you know, you put stuff in your cart and then it just sort of sits there. You know, it's right. like the ghosts of the Internet, all of these abandoned carts. And it's still a problem today. It's still something that online retailers struggle with today. But one of the things that Amazon put their finger on is that that potentially one reason why people were abandoning the carts is because they had to invest so much effort to check out. Because even if I had used Amazon before, I had to key in all the information again, my address, my credit right. card, you know, payment information, all of that. And uh, whenever you saddle your customer with effort, you know, meaning they have to more, more data entry, more mouse clicks, more using your vocal cords to tell your story over and over again, that just saps their loyalty. It saps their engagement. And so that's when Amazon came up with this idea of let's save people's information. Let's save their address. Let's save their payment information. And then we'll have this one-click purchase button where with a single, you know, with just the, the twitch of a finger, everything is taken care of. Yep. Um, and that actually was a patented feature on the website, yep. you know, which created some controversy because some people felt that it was like patenting the steering wheel. Yep. But Amazon successfully patented it and other companies like Apple even, they were paying royalties to Amazon for many years until the patent expired just a few years ago. Um, but that is a great classic example, I think, of removing unnecessary effort from the customer experience and then creating uh, not only a better experience, but also more, greater likelihood that you're going to convert more sales prospects into customers. You know, that's the fascinating thing, I think, about the Amazon story is that many times in the marketplace, the company that has the best product or service might not be the one that wins. If The one that wins might be the one that has a really good product or service but it's also really easy to buy it, to configure it, to install it, uh, because that's all part of the experience. And again, Amazon recognized that and they made it effortless for people to buy stuff.